Hi, it's Hachimono. Is everyone doing? I haven't got my whole setup thing today because... Oh my gosh, am I tired? Today I went out perfume sniffing with a friend from work. We had planned to go to three places, and we went to three places, but we went to one place that wasn't on our list, and not one place that was on our list. So, here's the footage. I hope you really like it. I had a really good day, but I literally, I've never had a perfume headache like this before. <laughs> How's everyone doing? Good, I hope. Um, yeah, so I'm going perfume sniffing today. I haven't been for a while. Um, and this is the first time I'm actually going with someone. Uh, well, I'm going with someone. <laughs> so normally I go on my own and it's I feel a little bit awkward, I'm not going to lie. But um, yeah, I'm going with somebody that I work with, Olga, who is a super crazy perfume obsessed person like me. So it would be nice to just share it with someone I guess. I've been perfume sniffing with friends before but n not on a proper perfume sniffing day let's say. So <clears throat> the plan is we're gonna go to Javoy first because I've never been before and then we're gonna go to Fortnum and Mason which I've also never been to and then we're going the most exciting part for me is the top floor of Harrods which is the Salon de Parfum, I think it's all the little exclusive boutiques and stuff, so that's really exciting. But as always, I don't know how much I'm going to be able to film, that's always the issue with these perfume trips, because most places don't let you film, so I might have to be undercover. So if the footage is rocky or <laughs> um, just not, I don't know, eye level, I guess, we'll just have to deal with it. But I'm going to try my best, as usual, so... Yeah, I'll speak to you when I get there. We have to quickly pop to the Disney store first to exchange something. But then, yeah, perfume sniffing begins. So, fun, and what a better day to do it. This gorgeous, sunny day. So, I'll see you guys in a second. Oh, also, I forgot to show you my trusty pen that I bought. I'm bringing a pen this time because I always lose track of things. I always forget things. I always get distracted by things. So, I'm writing stuff down today. But look at this pen. I love it so much. I got it the other day. I've been looking at it since Christmas and I thought I'm just going to get myself it. So yeah, it's very pretty indeed. I'm here. I just wanted to quickly show you guys this amazing sparkly skull. Wow. Random things around here. Anyway, we're going to Javoy. So yay. Oh, this is one of my favorite streets. All this fancy, fancy shops. This is where I went and this got my Coromandel. Oh, that one down there. But it's so beautiful here during Christmas time. Yeah. <laughs> All this decoration. So nice to see shops that you can't afford. <laughs> this is what Bond Street is to me. Well, this is new Bond Street, right? Mm, don't know. And, Vic <laughs> and Victoria's Secret. Oh yeah, I've been in Victoria's Secret. It's oh, so Fendic. Fendic. nice. I wanted something in Fenwick. Can we just? Phoenix, yeah. Yeah, they've got they've got mm, good selection of perfumes. So Phoenix said I can s uh, film things, that which is nice. There's an Asmanthus one here. What's oh, this brand? It's, um, Paris. I, I tried it before. I think you can find it. In <gasps> ylang Ylang. Oh my gosh. I'm still I trying to find the ultimate one. Ylang Ylang. So. I tried this one, but again, it's, mm, it has this very commercial vibe. Okay, could this be the Ylang I'm looking for? No, it's not. <laughs> I'm still trying to find the perfect Ylang and it's not happened yet. Two Bros Absolute. We'll just film a little bit. What's this? It's Mantis. I like it. That's really nice. Apple de Palma, I've not seen this brand before. What are they called? Oh, Carthusia, that's the one you said you read about. Mm -hmm. Essence of the Park. 
microphone is a camera. It's really hard to f film and sniff. I'm going to film the bottles and then I'm going to sniff so I can probably sniff. They're pretty. The one. <laughs> They're the oud ones at the top. Whoa, so much to smell. These are really pretty as well. Right. Oh no. Oh, no. It's a few carons here. I'm going to go and smell this tuberose absolute. If the camera goes shaky, I do apologise, but it's hard to hold it and spray things. What's this? Oh, Alyssa Ashley. Okay. Okay, let's smell this. Oh. <laughs> this is so nice. This smells like carnal flower. This tuberose absolutely smells like carnal flower. Just a bit less green. Of it's so nice. Oh my gosh, I love that one. Note to self, Paris Monte Carlo. Tuberose Absolute. There's a Santal one. What's this one? Let's try Santal. Yeah. Santal and Pachilla. Oh, they've got a Lan Cologne. Here you go. Oh, have they? <gasps> oh, that's the one I I think it's the Oh, same. it's here. Oh, it's the same. Look. Why they're different? Why? Yeah, I don't get it. Oh, these are, ex these are extra. Oh, it's such a nice Let's smell the sun, sun towel. Here you go. You spray, I film. Okay, so sun towel. <laughs> we even got to the first shop we're supposed to go to. We've been sidetracked by Phoenix. <laughs> Oopsie. Here they are. Security, are going to come and get me? Yeah. Put your sparkly hand. Oh, it's a beautiful what is eyeshadow. That? It's um, like... It's all over you. Yeah, it's all over me. It's beautiful. I think it's limited edition from Shantikai. Shantikai, their fragrances. <laughs> their makeup. Ooh. It's even better. I think Rouge Rouge still is the best makeup. Mm. But they're very good. Shantikai is very good. I bought my pen, my pen, my pen that I love. Yeah. Is this the sandalwood? Yeah. Mm. Mm. I'm going to spray this tuberose one again and take it with me because loving. This is a really good, I don't know if I say substitute for carnal flower, but what do you pick up first? This is the thing when you sniff perfume, it's just really tough. Hello. I'm not really feeling this line at all. This one's really, I don't know what the floor it is. You know, you know, it's like I think... It's violet one. It's alright. You know, Italians, I think Italians, they've got um, some violet candies. Okay. It smells like this. Yeah, it's really violet-y, that one. That one, I'm not sure. That's... I, I want to ask them what flower that is, but I'll look it up anyway. And that I don't really like either, so... They have these really beautiful Arabian pure oils here as well. Look at the lids. They're so gorgeous. I love them. Me and Olga have very different taste in perfume. Like, almost opposite taste in perfume. Everything I like, she hates, and vice versa. So... <laughs> Particularly you could call guys. Not whole line at all. What's it called? Um, it's Liquera La Serena. Oh, it's Carthusia. Uh, li, 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 Ligera? Ligera La Serena. Oh, I don't know that one. That's got a bit of a burnt um, feeling. I love it like that. That smells, oh my God. That smells like something from my childhood. Mediterraneo. That's really citrusy, obviously. Essence of the park. I like this one. That which means Olga's not going to like it. <laughs> yeah. That's a bit figgy. Oh, I like this one as well. And I didn't even want to smell this line. Mm. This one I really like. Oh. Oh, EO Capri and then Ariada Capri. Yeah, of course, no. you like it. Of course you like it. <laughs> 
walking down Vaughan Street, taking you on a little tour. Here's Victoria's Secret there. Look at those cases, cool. I wonder if they're for sale. So I've kind of fallen in love with the fragrance already and it's only the first shop. And it was I'm called... Definitely. That shop wasn't even planned, you know? Yeah, that shop wasn't even planned, exactly. It was, um, I wasn't allowed to film that bit. They made us me stay in the little bit we was in. Um, it's by Ruth, let me have a look. It's called Signature and it's by Ruth Mastenboek or something. I have it here. I don't even know what I'm smelling, but it's really nice. It's very perfumey, which is a really weird word to describe a fragrance, but I really like this one. It's the one that I said is perfumey. The buildings. I think I rem remember emailing Javoy a really when I did my last trip um, and saying, am I allowed to film? And they just didn't respond at all. I know Les Centres, they said, no, you can't. Oh, so, well, screw you then. <laughs> Whoa, what is this? These look like Alexander McQueen type craziness. It's like a female um, palace guard. That is really cool. <laughs> oh, to be able to be rich and just come here and just shop in these shops. It's cool how every building is kind of slightly different. London is just modern, smashed in with old. I said that in another video, it rings a bell. Modern buildings smushed together with really old ones and that's part of the charm of my wonderful, wonderful city. <laughs> oh, it's Browns, okay, cool. Have you eaten there before? Sometimes you just don't... Um, I've been to the one in Cambridge, but I haven't been to the one in London. There's actually another one in, near Leicester Square, a bigger one. There flames outside of it. That's how I remember it. Okay, we have just happened upon a church of some kind. It's really nice. Whoa, you just turn corners in London and you're just like, whoa, what is this? Yeah. We're right near it, the boy, but we just don't know where it is right now. So Olga tells me that Javoy have real ambergris for you to smell, which is amazing. I can't wait to smell it. Even though I don't like the smell of ambergris, if you, oh, yeah. Yeah, if you yeah. get the um, <laughs> if you get the chance to smell a raw ingredient like that, then you know, take it. That's what I say. This Lalique over there. Javoy. Oh, we're here! Yay! Wow. <laughs> That's all right. So Javoy have um, kindly let me film, which is yay for us guys. It means I can film all the bottles for you. And so this is Perfumum Roma. I've heard about this brand before. I don't really know where to start, to be honest. I bet some of you guys are screaming at the screen, smell this one, smell that one. <laughs> what are the names? I don't even know. Confetto, I know I've definitely smelled. Sorriso. Let's smell. Uh, oh gosh. The 50 comes in a ivory box. The 50 mil is more expensive than 100 mil. Because the 100 mil comes in a cardboard box. Yeah. Look at this one. I, what am I smelling? I don't think it's like any perfume. <laughs> exactly. It's like so yeah, the caramelly, like. It reminds me of something. Dolce Aqua or Aqua Aqua. Okay, this is Jule and Mad. It does smell familiar. It's like another one from my childhood. I've I'm gonna film the bottles and then sniff, guys, because I can't film and sniff. It's too difficult. But this is Jules Mad. 
Cirque Secrets de Paradis Rouge. Oh, how nice. Okay, I'm going to smell them now. I'm going to have a little tea maker here. Okay, let's go to their own fragrances. These are Javoy's own, which I've never smelled any of them. I've seen them in uh, Rudier White when I went a couple of years ago. Video, by the way, on my channel, but it wasn't filmed very well. I do admit myself. Psychedelic Amber Premiere. They're really pretty, aren't they? Oh. I'm going to ask them what's the best gardenia in here. Mm. I don't like this one. Remember me. No, I don't like that either. Oops. Sorry, Javoy. Oh, look, they have even have pencils for you to write your yeah. what you smell. And they've got... Um, oh, they have the notes on the bottom. Notes and prices. Oh, that's cool. Rhubarb leather in motel. I'm not going to like that one. Oh, that's so helpful. I like psychedelic, it's patchouli. <laughs> it is patchouli, I don't like that one either. Tomato leaf gardenia raspberry, yeah, I'm definitely, definitely smelling that one. Rouge Estate. Oh, I'm okay, thanks. Maybe coffee, that would be cool. Thank you. So kind. Yeah, please. This one is Angelica. Oh god, this one's Angelica Rum and Tobacco. Yeah, this one. This one I love. This one which I love. it. I'm finding... Gardenia. Is this Gardenia? Yeah, this I'm trying to find a good Gardenia. Oh, I love this one. <laughs> I haven't even got down to this end of the shop yet. Oh my gosh, there's just too much. Let's go down there. There's just too much going on. I'm overwhelmed. Look at all of this. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Wowzers. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, they have e Kudre as well. Hey, hi, hi. Look at this. Ooh, I have no idea what that, but it's such a cool thing. Oh my god. What is this? So I guess it's just raw, in, well, raw essential oil, raw essential oils, essential oils. I have no idea why it looks so cool. Oh, they've got nuts. Fragrance do. Nuts. Ah, they do. Have you ever seen your nuts? Yes, I finally got my nares, but they have the other ones, guys. Look, I will be maybe doing a video on these. I'm not sure. I got the pink one, but yeah, I've got that one, but I haven't got these. Do you have green? I recommend, guys. All about cardamom. I need to go back. I've, I've come too far forward. Oh, okay, A and Bob. I like that they have the notes on the bottom. Grapefruit, coffee, tobacco. Okay, these guys, we have these in bloom, so I'm not going to smell those. I don't know what this brand is. Oh, the different company. UK exclusive, Eternal Gentleman. Ooh. Doesn't sound like me. These are so pretty, look. M. McAuliffe, I've smelled a couple of theirs. They have a Ylang Ylang. Look at that one. I'm gonna have to touch this one. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, this is stunning. Wow, it's 
it's not even a spray, it's got a dropper in it. Let's smell it. So pretty. So, so pretty. Who's this? Oud Assam. Ombre loop. Ah! This. Why is this ringing a bell? I sprayed this on myself the other day. Someone sent me a sample. The lovely lady who I sent some Halfetti samples to. If you're watching this, this one has just jumped out at me because I sprayed it on myself the other day from the bunch of samples you sent me. So These are gorgeous as well. Yeah. There's a bottle over here that is just so pretty, I can't even deal with it. <laughs> Look at this bottle. Mikali. Yeah, Mikali. Look yeah. at this. <laughs> it I doesn't, it smells kind of lightly floral, but... But I'm not a big fan of Mikali. No. Oh, look. The infamous molecule, which I won't be smelling today, sorry. These are quite cool too. Too much sniffage. Oh, look at these as well. I know, they're beautiful. Is this Clive Christian by any chance? No, it's not. Clive Christians, they, don't they have crowns on like that? Okay, I have to smell some things, so I'm gonna put the camera down again for a while. Oh, Beaufort! More and Macaulay oh, bottles. Their bottles are stunning. I'm not too fond of their fragrances, but... I think, which no, one's the Yulang? Is this really y uh, is this one? I can't even speak today. I'm gonna to smell this one because it's the Yalang Yalang one. Oh my gosh. Ooh. 225. Wow, that makes this for this bottle. It's the bottle, isn't it? I, I think you can buy them from Cardiff or Mutino. Oh really? Yes, I want that. I can't even smell that. I like this one. No. Oh, this one. Do you remember the lady came and asked for perfume? She meant this one. Which lady? We serve. Oh, we speak to a lot of people. She's quite young. She's like, oh. Yes. <laughs> I no. hate her hair acts, but it, it's just cha oud. It, it changes more. It's oud, oud, oud. oud. What are these? Oh, Evody, I've heard of them. Noir de Orient, that sounds like something I'm probably going to like, so I'm gonna spray it. I wish this, my camera was just here. Just. Oh, these are all natural, I think. Oh, I, I know this brand. Um, I can bring you, I can bring you like small size of this. Isn't it weird how some brands jump out at you to want to try and some don't? Like, yeah. like the, these, I just don't know why, but I don't feel like I want to smell them. <laughs> or these, and I don't know why. You can't possibly smell. Oh, they have Grossmith here as well. We have them at Bloom. I love this one. Tuberose, mask, pepper, and lily. Do you want to try it? These look quite funky. No. I'm waiting for one that's just gonna smack me in the face, gorgeous, and that so far. How does this, how do these even work? The bottles. The but how do you even do it? Let me help you. Let how do you see. even do it? You can be the hand model. Oh, I see, it's upside down. I thought the perfume was in here and you took this part off. Oh, nice. Oh, it's lovely, it's sweet, smell? lovely, sweet oud. Was, um, oh yeah, good evening. Yeah, nice one. Not steamy. Nejma. This one is a more oud. I don't really. Arabia. This is Widian or Vidian. There's so many brands in here I've never heard of. It's just like when I first went to Bloom and I was just thinking, what are these brands? This is happening all over again with the, with the brands in here. 
tribal oak moss, ginger, yuzu, chili, incense. Let's smell the incense one. These ones are Mask Milano. And look at these. Oh my gosh. Look how pretty these are. Oh my god, I can't even deal with it. It's too much, too much, too much. Look at these. They are so gorgeous. I have to smell these. How much are they? I don't know, but I want it just for the bottle. They're 100 mil, 138. I'm going to smell all of these, I have to. Black tea, bergamot, pear, chestnut. I don't know what this is either. I've never seen no, this I before. Like those. I saw them somewhere, I think, in Italy. Bon air. No, not good. Not much. Okay, I have to smell these three perfumes just because of the bottles and possibly those as well. Really, really disappointed with the smell of these ones. That's such a shame. But I think I might have had my wow moment. What is this gorgeousness? B berry. Love. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> this one's getting written down and sprayed and everything. What's the brand? Berry. Oh, I love it. Mandarin Let's Shop some kind of like this one. Oh my gosh, should I leave my pen somewhere? Oh, I'm gonna is, it my pen. New, is it a new bag? I almost lost my pen. <laughs> I almost lost the, the prettiness. Oh, this is so cool. A bit enchanted forest like. Oh, coconut smells lovely. All right. These are pretty, but I think they're they're Arabian. But I, I'm not not that I'm counting it out forever. But I'm just not really that much a fan of of Arabian perfumery. So, oh, where's the ones with the? Um, oh, look at these. Where's the ones with the Roman numerals? Oh, here. What's this brand called, guys? I can't remember. It calls MDCI. Which is a Roman numeral for something. Lecce. Which of these do you even smell? Orange, green notes, gardenia, ylang ylang, rose, musk. They, at least they have the notes. It's this brand. Invasion Barbar. I've heard of this before. Okay. Here's the footage for you guys to see them. And then I'm going to sniff them. What's this? I've seen these as well. I've seen these on Amy Love Perfumes channel. She bought these. But then Amy buys everything. If you're watching, Amy. <laughs> Uh, okay, I'm gonna smell a few. So this brand is absolutely gorgeous. I've smelled a few. I've smelled this Invasion Barbare one. I smelled this beautiful Nuit Andalus, which is, they're really, really pretty and elegant fragrances. And I just smelled this Chypre Palatan as well. Oh, they're really lovely. Well. Cherry flower peony. What this one's got a lot of notes. I have to smell this La Belle Helen. Oh wow, these are three hundred and twenty-five pounds, guys, or two hundred and twenty. I mean, they are really beautiful, though. I'm not going to lie, but I don't know if I'd ever spend that much on a perfume. What's oh, the whole name as well? It's so good. Oh, okay. Yeah, these They're are really lovely. Gorgeous. They are. Pearl de Bell. I'm going to smell some of these as well. What's this brand called? Oh, I was trying to be fun. I'm going to pick one at random and smell it. Saltus Fortis Sancti. The names are really cool. Velvet, it's Beauty Beast. Beauty Beast. I'm gonna chew this one, choose this one. Poor, poor de bet. So 
skin beast beast skin I just sprayed this one it is it's really unusual this one is drawing me to it as well I don't know why I'm gonna try this one Eel, whatever that says there are just so many ouds in here that I just yeah. want to steer away from them. This brand is intriguing me the more I smell of them. I'm going to smell a few more of these. So I'll see you guys. Upon sniffage, I've decided I'm not really fond of that brand. It's all about these. <laughs> these bad boys that are really expensive. Why? Why do you have to look? Like... They're so... No. They're so pretty. This kind of formula, you need to like, spend time. What are these? Should we smell these ones? Because mm -hmm. I, have... I don't remember them. Umbra Top Kai and Rose de Siwa. Okay, I'm gonna smell them. Does anyone know what Benjamin is? <laughs> right, I'm gonna smell some of these Volonaise. Let's see what these are all about. Juniper Rose Oud, no thank you. Aldehyde Rose Irish. That one is my favourite. We agree, me and Olga actually agree on one for once in our life. Pinkberry's Vanilla Sisters, which is labdanum of course. I'm not even filming them. Sage Jasmine Almond. Lavender Rose Oak Moss, no. And Ginger Amber Patchouli. Ugh, which of these has grabbed me the most? Aldehyde Rose Iris. I'm going to try this one. This candle is ginormous. This is a scale and my hand. It's actually a five wick candle from Javoy. That is stunning. Oh my god, I want everything. <laughs> We're obsessed with these. <laughs> these, no. Mm -hmm. No. This is so old fashioned. My I mom love it. had something like this. It's Lauchi Peony. This smells like. American and Turkish rose. Well, let's see the mask and that's it. Where have I smelled something like this before? Look at the, are these like scent pens. Anyway, I think I'm going to stop filming in here for now and then I'll film again when we get to Harrods. Because I have filmed everything. <laughs> okay, so maybe I like because there's a downstairs. Oh wow, there's like a whole new thing here. But he did say that the um, brands are mostly repeated so no all by myself <laughs> oh look at this who makes such beautiful things for my eyes this is just it's amazing I have to spray this one I'm saying really stupid words today like it's amazing I don't feel like I should spray this, but I'm going to. <laughs> Whatever it is, my um, camera now smells of it too. Look at this bottle, Olga, it's amazing. <laughs> There's another one here. Oh yeah, I remember this. Such a cool Look at this. They used to have Amber Grey there. Oh. I'm so sorry, sorry. What's oh, yeah. this? Coming soon. Javoy. What's this? It's like a wine cellar for oh perfume. Oh my gosh, look at this piece of art. Look at this bottle. It's, um, it's mother, mother of, of pearl. pearl. Look at that With one. With some uh, animal. Do you call it animal? And um, Which one? Sapphires? Not sapphires. This, this is a technique, very difficult technique, how to put this... Um, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it in English. And this is pearl of light. What does it smell like? That's the thing. Mandarin orange blossom incense for two. Six hundred and fifty pounds. How can we try it? Oh, they've got it here, I believe, right? Is it a big stock here? Testa Dharma. Yes. Oh cool. Let's we can smell try. it. This is the one over there with the blue petals on it. 
It's no. nothing special, is it? <laughs> I like it <laughs> because it smells like gardenia to me. And I don't I'm, like it, but I really. There's other things that smell I like really this. I really like this bottle. It's amazing. It's just all this traditional smell. I've smelled those upstairs. We smelled these ones as well, and I've smelled these. I didn't like this brand. I don't think they're very nice. It's called Frank Muller. Have they haven't. We haven't smelled these. Oh. Uh, Mask. Yeah, upstairs as well. I didn't see them. We've left our bags, I hope that they're right. Tango, Times Square, Russian tea, Mandarin. My eyes are so happy with this colour. Yeah, this colour is very nice. What are they? I think it's a, like mm, colour, colour of No, I don't like so this. Tall. This is like very. Um, um, You're giving us a little talk. Pop, yeah, popular brand Nila Vermeer perfumes. Nila Vermeer, Vermeer creations. Yeah, and she makes like um, Indian slash European perfumes about fabrics, Indian spices, silk. Oh, okay. So I should probably love them then, right? And they are extremely expensive. Are they? Mm, 180 for 60 miles. Wow, okay. For the perfume, not even extra. Not even extra. They're not like zoologists when you smell them and think, oh my gosh, I never smelled them before. No, exactly, they're not. They're all right. They are I feel like we're being really harsh critics, but you know, we they, both work they, with perfume, so. They are, oh my gosh, are you filming it? Yeah. So they are, oh, <laughs> they are all right. Mm, they're, they're light. They're nice and pretty, but nothing special for that price. They're, they're just, they're quite light. Oh yeah, an Indian romance in several fragrant chapters, it says up there. Mm. Oh, this one's nice. It's coconutty though. Doesn't say anything. One's based on Indian emperor. One is based on the beautiful Lake Pachola. The perfumes are a tribute to three different eras of Indian history. They're okay, they're not like... They're not bad, but nothing extraordinary. No, know? nothing's jumped out at me like, wow, I want to get that. A few things have today. Oh my gosh, I didn't even see these. So this is like a perfume museum, this shop. It's so pretty. Anyone that's in London, you have to come to this shop. Can we go to the next one? There's so much to look at. Yeah, we'll go, we're going to, surprise, we're going to go to Lalique and hopefully look at their beautiful bottles. Yeah. Okay. So, oh my gosh. So, Javoy is amazing. Just going to say that. They have so many lines I've never seen. They have, yeah, they have so many um, brands I've never tried. So many things that are just stunning and they let us have samples of all of the things we asked for, which is, is amazing. I got a really nice Jule Mad one. I got a Perfume and Roma one, which might be the Ylang I'm looking for. That brand, Berry, they're so cool in the black opaque bottles. Love them. Oh, wooden lids. Wooden lids and um, just a few different things. Oh, and I actually got a, one from Javoy as well. They're, they've got a really lovely Gardenia one, and I'm also trying to find a Gardenia perfume. So, yes, I'm really excited. So I'll probably be doing some sort of reviews on some of them at some point. But right now we're going to Lalique, so... Yes, I don't know if I can film in here, but we'll see. It's nice to have a break from sniffing, because my head is actually like hurting a little bit. Of course. I have a slight headache. <laughs> Let's look at some pretty things. Wowzers, that is impressive. It's really hard to see with the reflection, but, but oh my gosh, these are amazing. Do you want to smell their perfumes? Oh, I'm not a big fan of their perfumes. Neither am I. Should we, we go in? Check. Holy moly. Hello. Hello.
Hi. Uh, no, we just wanted to admire the bottles. <laughs> we just like perfume fans. Um, it's fine. I really want to film. Oh, it's fine. Okay. And cigar smell. <laughs> I don't think we're going to have time to go to Fortnum and Mason, but we are no, going to go to Harrods. So that is going to be the highlight. But yeah, I'm literally obsessed with Javoy. Ugh. It's really cool. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah, ciao. We're in a very posh street right now. I don't even know what this street is. There's Balenciaga Mount over there. Street. Mount Street. Lots of people in suits and people buying very expensive luggage and cigars and things like that. <laughs> Actually, not that many people. <laughs> God, it's so pretty around here. I've never been here. Look at this place. The Mount Street Deli. This is very pretty. Oh, there's a perfume shop. Oh, it's Creed. <laughs> this is the Creed shop. We just stumbled across. Meh. Nah. Bye, Creed. Everything's so good. Very expensive watches. This looks very pretty as well. A place that I would love to go and eat at. It's called Scott's. Note to self, Tom, when you become rich, you can do these things, but not today. <laughs> Pringle. Pringle. I got Pringle. They are, but it's also clothing. <laughs> the b bitter sling. Oh, we're in Mayfair. For God's sake, no wonder it's posh. <laughs> this is what Mayfair looks like, everybody. Posh people in suits shopping for very expensive things. It's the most expensive spot on the Monopoly board, Mayfair, isn't it? <laughs> oysters, anyone? There's oysters in there. Stop for some oysters and some champagne, you know. Oh, can we go? I don't know. Ah, oh, here you go. We're going to go through the park. We're actually walking to Harrods from Mayfair, so it gives me a chance to film a little bit of the surroundings, which I know a lot of you guys like the shops of London. I don't know what that is. The shops are just unbelievably stunning. It's just, everything is just elegant beyond belief. <laughs> you can't even imagine. Illuminata. What's that? It's skincare stuff. Ooh, Ooh yeah. I'm gonna fall down there. Like Marilyn. Not Marilyn. Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> Marilyn Manson. Marilyn <laughs> Manson. Cute things. Not as pretty as perfume. Oh, it's really hot. The air coming out of that. Hyde Park is not even green because of this summer that we're having. Everything is scorched. We need to go over this way. It's very windy, so you probably can't hear me very much, but we are going across. So Knightsbridge is over here. Knightsbridge is another really posh area. No, Kensington. Oh, no, wait, what is it? I have no idea. It's Knightsbridge, isn't it? It's not Kensington. Yes. Yeah, I went to, on New Year's Eve once, I went to an amazing club in Kensington called Kensington Roof Gardens. It was snowing on the top of this roof with all plants, and there was, it was just... A really good night. Fairy tale. It was, it was like a fairy tale. Oh, why? What uh, uh, <laughs> oh shit, it's mine. Excuse my language. This is the serpentine. I think people were swimming in here before. I don't think I'd swim in here. Really? Oh, uh, that thing is loaded. Yeah, people were swimming in here. Only there or maybe there's a separate thing where you can swim somewhere. Because it is really hot today. Well. <laughs> God, that child is not being tempted even by ice cream then, he's crazy. His mum's saying, come on, we're going to go and get some ice cream. And he's like, no. What's wrong with, What's wrong with him? <laughs> go and get that ice cream, dude. I would take it in a flash. Usually kids, you know, he's like, no, you're not having any ice cream. We already did um, 
1,000 steps. Halfway? Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. I have beep in my wrist. Oh, Fitbit. <laughs> Me and Olga have done 1,000 steps today already. How many is the recommended? 10, not 1. 10 steps? 10,000. 10,000 steps? and four zeros. 10,000 steps. Wow, okay. And how many are you supposed to do? 15? 5. 5,000? Yeah, at least. We've done double the amount of steps we're supposed to do. And night is young. Night is young. <laughs> oh look, they're barbecuing food and things. Cold beers. Oh, this is so tempting right now. Oh, looks quite a big drop there. <laughs> Didn't realise it was a big drop. <laughs> what this place? This place with all these roses. It's so pretty. The little barber there. Oh, it's a restaurant. Osteria. Roma. Look how nice that is. Huh? That is. That's the little types of things you find down side streets in London. I never would have found seen that. Well, we're in Knightsbridge, so we're in the right place. Have you, uh, have you read this uh, book of by Neil Gaiman about cheap and different? Yeah, Neverwhere. Yeah, Neverwhere. <laughs> yeah, I have. It's really weird, but it's cool. It's a really weird one. Ah, oh, we're in Knightsbridge. Ah, oh, okay, I recognise something. We need to go that way. You can't really miss Harrods, it's absolutely massive. So we'll go to the um We'll go to the main run first and then go up. Mm -hmm. We are at Harrods guys. Okay. Yes. Okay, we're gonna go to the top floor first. Oh my god, I'm nervous. Why? Why am I nervous? <laughs> I would never go on my own, I don't know why, so lucky I have Olga with me. I've got, um, I've definitely found three or four fragrances, oh that's not a good shot, already that I really like, new ones today, so I'm sure I'm going to find more up here. Okay, we're actually there. If anyone catches me, I'm probably going to have to um, turn my camera off. Ah. Mm. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Where on earth do you go first? Okay, we are from the level. Where do you go first? Yeah, not that one. What's this? I have no idea. Let's have a look. <gasps> look at our sleeves in Japanese style. Pinocchi. We have. Um, Chubi and sandalwood, and we have cherry blossoms. Yeah, because you know Gaya. Okay. Can I try Gayak, patchouli, and vetiver?
cool escalator. Killian, oh, they have Killian here as well. And they have Clive Christian as well. Ah, uh, we could have just... So, that's the lilac one. Oh, love tuberose. I didn't even know this was yeah. out. I have. Finding a lot today, right? Yeah. I don't know where to start with them. Thanks. Mal. Yeah, of course. Thank you. Do you want something lighter? I want something different. <laughs> Almost different. 